Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Caleb Dennison. Coming up today, Amazon preps for a smartphone launch this week, the feds want to regulate navigation apps, and truly wireless earbuds hit Kickstarter. In what's probably one of the least secretive product launches in recent history, Amazon is expected to unveil its first smartphone at an event on Wednesday. Leading up to the launch, the e-tail giant is boasting that the number of apps in its app store has tripled over the past year. That puts it at roughly a quarter million apps, which should satisfy most users. Amazon also hopes to lure people in with a few gimmicks. A glasses-free 3D screen, six cameras, and gesture controls are some of the unique smartphone features leaked in the past months. How useful any of those features really are remains to be seen. Check back with Digital Trends on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time for full coverage of the Amazon launch event. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration already has the authority to set guidelines for in-dash navigation systems, but now they want to regulate smartphone apps like Google Maps and Apple Maps. If the legislation goes through, the agency would have the authority to restrict the use of the apps or order changes to navigation services. According to the New York Times, the proposal is meant to crack down on distracted driving. Automakers support the bill, however, technology companies argue that regulating navigation apps would be impractical. Google and Apple Maps are on nearly every smartphone in the United States, so, of course, the questions of when and how the regulations are applied still need to be answered. Until now, wireless Bluetooth earbuds have been bulky and connected together with, well, a wire. How does that make sense? But a group of ex-Nokia engineers are taking to Kickstarter with a set of truly wireless earbuds. The Earin are a bare-bones pair of earbuds that connect via Bluetooth and play music. That's it. No microphones, no 4 gigs of storage, or companion apps. It's supposed to be a no-frills, high-end listening experience. The use of a balanced armature driver should provide high-quality sound in a small package, but they generally don't provide much bass, so we'll need to try them out before making any final judgments there. Earbuds have a battery life of three hours and recharge when stored in their keychain case. The ear in are already past their funding goal, but you can still get in on a pair. Expect them to ship in early 2015. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.